Well, winter is here and power prices are set to rise by between 20 and 25 per cent in just a few weeks on July the 1st. It really is a perfect storm for a wave of bill shock, unless you're one of these lucky people. Our highest bill for the month has been $9. So we've seen bills at zero dollars and we've seen bills at eight dollars. This is a pathway to a different future. This is the month of January and that was ten dollars. That was ten dollars, correct. And then what have we got here? Six dollars fifty for February. Exactly. For Les Rose, this is the ultimate kind of bill shock. We're averaging about six to ten dollars a month. I mean, that's exceptional. Living in an over-50s estate on Queensland's Sunshine Coast, Les leads a pretty carefree lifestyle, especially when it comes to his power bill. We still run a business. We have a lot of technology going. Um, a number of major big IMAX, server, printers and all that sort of thing. So, no, we don't worry about that at all. We've never had bill shock. A stark contrast after spending years grappling with ever-rising electricity bills. Then we did get bill shock because it was averaging about $300 a quarter. And even then we, had to, we didn't have air conditioning. So we had all our technology, lighting and kitchen equipment and all that sort of thing. So that was fairly significant. Liz credits his substantial savings to rooftop solar panels installed in his home. And believe it or not, he's about to pay even less. Well, this with the new virtual power plant that they're putting in, is going to, we're going to achieve savings, particularly in those peak periods during 4 to, say, 8 p.m. at night. That's where we're going to notice it the most. So our homeowners have seen power bills reduce anywhere from 60 to 90 per cent. So we've seen bills at zero dollars. Adrian Pulich is CEO of Gem Life Estates. After trialling new technology over the last six months, the company is launching virtual power plants in communities like this one. And it cuts the head off the peak tariff rates that energy retailers are gouging customers and consumers with today. Energy is captured through solar panels on each home. That's then stored in a bank of batteries that acts as a power plant plant, reducing the demand on the electricity grid. So we will see tariff rates within this community anywhere from six to ten cents per kilowatt hour of an evening. Uh, and if you look at your tariff rates that you're getting charged now on your bill, it's, you know, almost ten times that in suburbia. The system also uses artificial intelligence, which predicts the homeowner's energy needs. Any power that's not utilised in the home gets stored in the battery and then of an evening time that uh, surplus energy that wasn't used in the day goes back out to the homeowners and they get to use it overnight time at anywhere from 60 to 90 per cent below the average tariff rate. It looks like you're getting electricity into your home but instead of coming from a real physical big power plant a long way away the electricity is coming from the aggregation of a lot, a lot of small power plants, one of which might even be on your own roof. Tony Wood is the Energy and Climate Change Director at the Grattan Institute. But it's a great idea and can make a big difference um, in the short term, but more importantly, even in the long term. We sort of budgeted right from the time that we've been married, but our gas and electricity bill was a big chunk of our budget. Martin and Bronwood Maynard have already trialled similar technology at a different Gem Life estate. Our highest bill for the month has been $9. That's it's usually about six or seven. So with our concession government rebate, we pay nothing. Hundreds of homes are already connected to these virtual power plants here in Queensland. And because the trial's been so successful, there's now plans to roll it out in New South Wales and Victoria. Now's the time for the governments and regulators to be thinking about how this should work. And we hope that in time, energy regulators and, and retailers alike will see the benefits of this application and look to implement this, not just within communities such as ours, but in suburbia too. Power prices have been very volatile, so this must make you feel quite secure. Oh, yes, and it certainly helps with our cost of living, that's yeah. that for sure. Wow, well, not worrying about power bills. That is the way of the future. And no doubt we will be seeing more of these community-based mini power plants popping up around our suburbs.